Some people, you can paint and the, the light just comes right through. She did have a kind of a twinkle in her eye. Beautiful eyes. And when I got the call, I was just thrilled. I was really thrilled because Ruth Ginsburg, she is an American icon. My name is Michael Dees. This will be the what, 25th postage stamp I've done for the US Postal Service. Uh, these are some of the stamps I've done. Uh, this is the first stamp I did was Tennessee Williams, and then Marilyn Monroe, Betty Davis, I did that one, and uh, Lewis and Clark, there's Edgar Allan Poe, Bogart, Duke Hanamoko, Cary Grant, uh, Thornton Wilder. I think it's six or seven covers for Time Magazine. This is the logo I painted for Columbia Pictures. George Bush and Gerald Ford. One of the easiest I ever had to do was Ronald Reagan. We couldn't miss. One of the most difficult I ever had to do was Audrey Hepburn. If you were off by just the tiniest little hair, it didn't look like her or it lost something. Have you ever gotten a letter in the mail with a stamp on it that you painted? Yeah, it's a kick. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a kick, it's a real thrill, um, yeah. You see a particularly nice postage stamp, it kind of pulls you in. It's like a little, you know, miniature piece of art, if it's good. Okay, this is a photograph of, of Ruth Ginsburg by Philip Birmingham, and then from this photograph I did a series of sketches. The most difficult thing, believe it or not, was her collar. She had her descent collar. When she was gonna disagree with the rest of the court, she wore this one specific collar. Trust me, there's something about that collar. It's geometric, and if you don't get the geometry just right, it, there's a ripple effect. If you try to fake it, it, it looks like you're trying to fake it. So the pulses are, they have a research company that looks into things, and they found somebody in Europe who made a replica of it. And then this is the finished version. That took about two weeks at least to paint just that collar. Looking at their face either draw, draws me in, and I get interested, like, who is this person? What were they really like? Regardless of how you might perceive her politically, like, she's the real deal. I mean, she's a so straightforward and such a clear thinker and, you know, not flamboyant with words, very common sense. How wrong it is to judge people on the basis of what they look like. She made a tremendous difference in, in women's rights. One of the things I try to do in the stamp is um, to get a little hint of a twinkle in her eye, like a little bit of a wry wit. I think she did have a kind of dry, subtle sense of humor to add something to it. I don't want to just copy a photograph. I mean, anybody can do that, but I wanted to give it a little sparkle and a little bit more of a smile. This sort of delicate looking elderly woman was such a powerhouse. I hope it captures her in, in the best light possible. I think if it's good and well printed, um, people notice. I mean, a good stamp, you'll remember it.